Hi guys, so today I wanted to talk about biofilm and phage therapy. Biofilms are a collective of one or more types of microorganisms that can grow on many different surfaces. Microorganisms that form biofilms include bacteria, fungi, and protists. Biofilms form when bacteria adhere to surfaces in aqueous environments and begin to excrete a slimy, glue-like substance that can anchor them to a variety of materials, including metals, plastics, soil, particles, medical implant materials, and mostly significant human or animal tissue. Now, guess who has been coughing up biofilm forever? This guy. So, um, I have a little picture of that. I'm going to see if I can insert it here. Hopefully, I can figure that out. I also... I also have a video where I originally didn't know it was biofilm and then I figured out it was biofilm because an ENT doctor figured that out for me and he was like, yo, that's biofilm. And I was like, oh, shit, I don't know what that is. And he didn't seem to know uh, what to do with that either. So I just have a bunch of biofilm just chilling back there. Now, why am I bringing this up? Because Marcon's is a collection of staph bacteria that can live in your sinuses. I don't know if it can live in your ears. That's a question I asked an ENT and they didn't know either. I can't see why it wouldn't. There's no reason that I can think of why it wouldn't. And there was no reason she could think of why it wouldn't. Her automatic response was no. And then she said, well, I can't really see why it wouldn't. So um, maybe she just hasn't seen it in anybody's ear. Maybe you know, that's the reason. But um, where was I going with this? Yeah, so I have biofilm that's covering my Marcons and it's making it impossible to treat with the nose spray antibiotic. In fact, it's made it worse. And so actually, I found a study because I also had an issue. A doctor gave me Metron. Uh, I'm going to say this wrong. Metronidazole? 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 I'll put it in the notes, but um, it's basically an antimicrobial that this doctor gave me for a UTI. That was uh, fun. I tried to treat that naturally with d For my peeps out there with UTIs, uh, D mannose is an awesome supplement that actually doesn't kill the bacteria. It just it the bacteria attaches to it because it's a sugar, and the bacteria is like, "Oh, you're sugar, I want to eat you," and then you just naturally flush it out. So it it's really good for preventing UTIs. It just didn't work this time for me, and so he gave me an antibiotic, and I really didn't want to take it. So nobody yell at me. I really did not like. I waited until it, I had to take this thing. Anyway, um, so long story short, my arm went numb after taking it, and it's still numb. Then it's been quite a few weeks now, so uh, there's just giant lumps all over my nerves, and I don't know if they're swollen lymph nodes or knots or what, but pretty much whenever I move, it just goes numb. Like, there's my two fingers all the way down. And then I can feel the bumps here and up here. There's like a bunch starting from here. And then there's just one every few, uh, every few inches, I guess. So anyway, uh, my point is that apparently this antibiotic has been known to increase biofilm formation. Now, the study I'm pulling is for a different strain of bacteria, but the way that biofilm works is um, it not only covers the bacteria but and makes it impossible for antibiotics to get through mm-hmm. to kill it, but also it, um, the biofilm allows it for the multiple groups of bacteria or fungi or protists to talk to each other 
and teach each other things. So they're like, hey, I know the secret to this. And the other bacteria is like, tell me, tell me, tell me, let me learn. So if one bacteria that you have in your body is resistant to an antibiotic, it can actually teach another bacteria that's living within the same biofilm how to become resistant to that antibiotic. So basically, this is how resistance, antibiotic resistance is growing and it's making super bugs and it's scary as fuck. So I am dealing with that and my biofilm production has only gotten up since I've tried to beat Marcon's and it started, became multiple chemical sensitivity. So I think it's, I don't know if the bacteria is fighting back or that's just a side effect of a lot of biofilm. But I did not have chemical sensitivity until I started treating Marcon's and mold. So CSM and the antibiotic nose spray, BEG, is what I was using initially. And then I developed chemical sensitivity. So Lord only knows what did what, but I want to get rid of this biofilm and then figure the rest out. <clears throat> so now that I have a super genius biofilm that's not s sharing the knowledge love with me, I want to talk about phage therapy. So the practice of phage therapy uses bacterial viruses, phages, so they're bacterial DNA based viruses that treat bacterial infections. Oops. And the way that works is... Um, so they discovered phages. I'm probably going to butcher the story, so just bear with me. But they had a collection of bacteria and they were growing it. And they noticed that these natural predators came and were eating the bacteria or feeding off of it. Or I'm not sure what it was doing, but it was attacking this bacteria. And they were like, hmm, what the fuck is this? And so they looked further at it and it's this virus, this bacterial virus. Saying that right? Yeah, bacterial virus that I think what it does is replicates the DNA of the bacteria. So the bacteria allows it in and then it destroys it. And so there's a phage therapy center in Georgia, not the state, the country. And I'm going to look into it. They also treat Lyme, but I don't think that's going to be my issue. I think my issue is probably just going to be the Marcons and like, hmm, who knows what else is under this biofilm. But that's the only thing I've been testing for so far. So I'm not really sure. And I don't show signs of infection, but I do show lots of bacteria and lots of biofilm. So what they're going to do is I'm going to send them my bullshit and be like, hey, test it. What they're going to do is they're going to create a bacterial virus, a phage, that is going, they're going to create it based on my own bacteria, whatever is growing inside me, and they're going to make this treatment geared towards what's actually inside my nasal passages and possibly the rest of my body. And then I think they're either going to inject it or I think you can take it orally. I think there's a few ways you can get it inside your system and that's my next step that's what i'm going to try to do um they're thinking this is a f it's now phage therapy has been around for almost a century it's not a new therapy it's kind of like old school and it's taboo and the fda uh mm -hmm. keeps denying it in the u.s and i think that's so far what i've read is that it's because there's no real way to test it and make sure it's safe because every single phage that you're developing is geared towards a specific type of bacteria that's unique to that individual and whatever's in that biofilm or for people that don't have biofilm for whatever particular bacteria that is. So there's no one size fits all here for phage therapy. And so there's a lot of red tape with the FDA in terms of the U.S., but I think also the U.K. I think the U.K. just just put a stop to allowing phage therapy to go on. I did see a few articles of people that were on their deathbed that 
were able to do phage therapy in the U.S. for research purposes, I guess. I guess they're like, hey, you're dying, whatever. Um, and it saved their life. It saved their life. Cystic fibrosis and another man who got really sick. I forget. He went into a cave. He went into a cave and there were like toxic gases in this cave. And he came back with this bacteria. But they're thinking that he had the bacteria before, but that was the trigger and then he got incredibly sick, almost died, was like in a coma and everything, couldn't talk. And uh, they treated him and he woke up and he's fine. <laughs> I saw his interview and they wrote a book, Predator something, something. I mean, if you want to know, just message me and I'll try to figure it out. But it's basically, they called it Predator because the bacterial phages or bacterial viruses, the phages, are the predators for bacteria. Mm -hmm. So they find a way in there. They're like, oh, biofilm. Da, 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 da. They drill right through that and they kill the bacteria. I think that's all I got for you. Hmm, trying to think if there's anything else. Um, mm -hmm. That's it. I think that's it. Oh, oh, I'm taking Interface Plus. Um, that is a supplement, a biofilm buster, and there's actually been a lot more stuff coming out of, you know, mm -hmm. my system. Uh, but actually, yeah, that's kind of cool. I think that's doing something, but I just don't know that it's going to do enough because even if I get rid of the biofilm, mm -hmm. I still have to get rid of the bacteria that's been living in it but also the bi i do think it's working for chemical sensitivity because i've noticed my sensitivity has gone down since i started taking interface plus which is the biofilm buster it's a supplement it's over the table amazon has it um that's all bye